It's that time of year again as we're here in Diker Heights, Brooklyn for the annual Basketball Old Timers of America Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Sirico's Caterers served as the venue for the 56th annual dinner, which brings together the living legends of New York City basketball. It is my honor to welcome you to the 56th year of honoring people who have made a contribution to our game, the great game of basketball. It's, it's wonderful to get everybody here loving our game and keeping it going. This year's honorees included St. John's basketball legends Bob and Ken McIntyre, with Ken being inducted posthumously, award-winning sports columnist Peter Vesey, and longtime New York basketball coach Tom Pecora. The thing is, so many people in this room really have touched my life and taught me this business. I've been college coach now for 30 years, and, and it's because of the people in this room, so I'm really honored to be here. You know, this is a basketball crowd, and... Uh, you know, this is like a tabloid Hall of Fame, and I'm, gl I'm glad to be here. It's nice. It's nice. I, I really appreciate uh, what they're doing. It hurts a little. My brother's not here, but I'm representing him, so it'll be all right. A few special guests always pop up at this event, and this year was certainly a real treat for attendees. Legendary St. John's University basketball coach Lou Carnesecca and recently elected Naismith Basketball Hall of Famer Dick Bavetta were among the notable guests. To be able to come back and share this journey with them and then whatever awards along the way or honors along the way uh, are wonderful, but to be back with where it started, that's, that's the honor for me. You can't find a better night for basketball because these people truly love basketball. And this is, this is one way where we get together and tell each other how great we were. The event has been called the best night of basketball in New York City and it once again fit the bill. No city has as much of a legacy as New York does. Uh, the landscape has changed. You know, it used to be an urban game, and now it's spread out, and kids all over the country, all over the world are playing it and getting very good at it. So we may not be producing as many top-notch players, but we're still producing quite a number of them. And I still believe on the high school level, there's no better coaches in the country than there are in New York. I've made a lot of friends that are here today. Uh, everywhere I turn, you know, there's history, and uh, there's a story. There's so many different players that, uh, people, that uh, tremendous, uh, tremendous camaraderie and relationships that they never die. It's wonderful. I mean, guys who play with, I know people at sixth grade are here tonight that I hadn't seen in years. This is just a great night. It's inevitable that Father Time has caught up with many of these former players and coaches. But one thing is always certain about this night. These old timers can definitely still talk a good game of hoops. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.